Getting government aid to help prop up your bank still isn't enough to stop some executives from going after bonuses. Bloomberg columnist Ann Woolner joins us from Atlanta now to explain. Ann, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Ann has a column in the, uh, on the Bloomberg Terminal today, and the, and the title is Bonus Lust Isn't Dead Yet at Banks on the Dole. What's going on? Well, some executives who have been told they can't get the bonuses that they expected and, in fact, they had been promised won't be getting them after all. These, I'm talking about some executives from a German bank, Dresdner Kleinwort, and um, they say that they, they're suing to get bonuses that they say they were due. Is there a legal case to be made there? Well, there's plenty of letters, and it looks like they've got some contracts that support their claims. These, uh, Dresner was saying, yes, you'll get this bonus, you'll get that bonus, and, and uh, we're talking about millions of euros. And, and um, so, the, but the, uh, apparently what the bank's going to be arguing is, um, look, it's your fid fiduciary obligation to put the bank's welfare above your own. And, and, and whether that flies. Well, yeah, exactly. Whether or not that flies is a different story. You write that Dresner wrote, given the scale of the losses, the bank believes that you are required to act in the best interest of the bank. Uh, that having been said, what's been the fallout from this? As you mentioned, the, the executives say they were promised these bonuses. Well, and they've got the documents to prove it. They were written letters uh, from August even after the bank looked like it was having problems, and even as it was about to be taken over, um, they, they were given letters about, you'll get this many millions euros at such and such time, and uh, some of them were discretionary bonuses, and some of them were what were called guaranteed bonuses, and some of the money was the severance pay, um, because these people were, some of them were um, sort of uh, laid off because of redundancy with the takeover of Commerce Bank. So uh, basically what, what we're saying here is the, the bank, for, for lack of a better phrase, is telling these executives, don't be selfish, don't be greedy, we're drowning, help us out. Exactly. This is a bank that Dresner, uh, I mean, uh, Commerce Bank took something like 18 billion euros from the German government. And uh, some of that was, uh, was because uh, Dresden did so poorly in the credit crunch. Um, so there's some feeling in Germany that they shouldn't be getting this money. Now, these are lawsuits that were filed for the most part in London. These were London-based bankers. Did, did any of the former Dresdner executives, did they get the message and heed the warning? Yes. Um, the CEO said no thanks to his, to his bonus. Bloomberg columnist Ann Woolner joining us from Atlanta, and we'll keep following that story. And, of course, this reminder that the opinions and views that Ann expresses are her own.